In this piece, I take liberties with my mother's biography and place her as a child at overnight camp, learning skills of self-sufficiency and independence. Throughout the poem, the child thrives physically and emotionally. However, like the Native Americans forced to give up their land and relocate to reservations and settlements, the young woman here learns the ways of society and gives up her freedom for the trappings of belonging. Something to think about. Do you recall a time when your desire to fit in competed with your desire to maintain or exhibit your individuality? If so, what choices did you make and why? The Poconos. My mother joined the Lenny Lenape when Pennsylvania Power and Light dammed Lake Wallen Pawpack, and she turned eight. In Philadelphia, Bubby sewed name tags into underwear and chose Camp Pine Forest for its strict counselors and Friday night corn roasts. My mother and her sister rose high into the Poconos, past waterfalls and rivers, where the eldest became an Iroquois among unruly bunkmates, raiding the Shawnee and short-sheeting the mini sink. My mother fished peaceably for perch and shad with the other Lenny Lenape and pursued the arts and crafts of clay, wood. She gave her birch bark box in friendship and taught the Seneca to build a gabled frame from saplings. For seven summers, she portaged and rode, roaming the woods with her clan. And in time, after color war, the tribe made her a pine tree, and she sat at tribal council where she presided over her children, distinguished by her compassionate nature, bartering her freedom for a modest home on a small tract of land. <laughs>